Hey everyone, Vitality here. Welcome to day one of my official Ark Survival Ascendant Small Tribe series. It feels really good to be back on Small Tribes. I never thought I'd say the words, but after spending a few years being a boosted bob, it feels good to be back to the primitive lifestyle. And I'm excited to see how far I can take this series. As always, let me know in the comment section what you guys enjoy, what you want to see more of, and what I should start leaving out. I was planning on making this uh, a pretty authentic experience. I don't really want to cut too much footage out. Playing a solo Small Tribes wipe really takes me back to the old days like Kishko, Montage, Six Shadows. And I really want to go back to that style with Ark Survival Ascended. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond to every comment. And I'm going to do my best to show as much as I can. The good things, the bad things, the wins and the losses. Most Ark content creators tend to cut a lot of the bad footage out, but yeah, I really want this to just be an authentic playthrough. So we're going to be starting the video with a note run. I think we can get to level 70 with the same note path. I think it's going to be interesting to see how far we can take the solo playthrough. The only thing that might be working against us is we are starting a little bit late. The servers did open about 55 arc days ago, so we're a bit behind. The reason being was just because I knew day one the servers were going to be pretty badly optimized. With wildcard they always are, uh, so I decided to wait just so I wasn't crashing constantly. Uh, looks like someone's tried to block these notes, but you can still access them through the, uh, the foundations, so it's not too bad. So yeah, we're a bit behind. We don't really have the numbers with us either. We're basically the underdogs at the moment, but it's how I enjoy the game. And I know playing solo is how a lot of you enjoy the game as well. So I'm going to finish up this note run and we'll start moving from there. Alright, so I've just completed the note run. Level 70. Um, these are the stats I'm running as well if you're interested. Decided to go with a bit more weight and a bit more stamina. I think I am going to kill myself now and spawn near some metal. I don't think there's too much around this area. I need to get some metal tools going ASAP. It's just going to make life a lot easier for me. I don't really want to be grinding it out with stone tools. Right, we got a forge going next to the metal nodes. So hopefully that should get us a metal pickaxe pretty soon. Just going to get some chitin as well. Yeah, I do think the plan is to build on a raft. I know it's been done quite a few times, uh, but I think it is the meta at the moment. I swear I'm just constantly getting knocked out because I keep forgetting to eat. It's a bit of a problem. Um, but we are making some decent progress on the metal tools. Hopefully should have a raft up in no time. I think it's going to be the best play just so we can move around a bit easier. We're actually getting a bit of rain here so might be worth making some water skins. Get that in our hotbar as well. Progress is coming along quite nicely I think. We're pretty much set for metal tools. Uh, we're still cooking some metal though, so we might come back and get a set of flak and a pike. Just sort those things out immediately. I think the dino AI is like super goofy as well. Nothing seems to be able to hit me really. Um, which makes life easier, I mean I'm not complaining, but... Yeah, it's interesting how they didn't test that one before releasing the game. There's a lot of things they didn't really test to be honest. I think on day one you could like run straight into turrets and they wouldn't shoot you, so... Wildcard really needs to get onto that. Okay, we got the raft down finally. Probably gonna cut back in 2027 with these rates and we should have a base by then. So the raft is coming together. We got the outside pretty much completed. Got a bit of work to do on the inside, but we're making some moves. We do just need to get some stones so we can get some more forges down. And then, yeah, the metal grind will commence. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but it's got to be done. These 2x rates, though, they're really getting to me. <laughs> it's taken about half a million years to get anything done, but we're working with it. Did get a few things out of a purple drop as well. We got some beer and a decent megatherium saddle, so I think what we might end up doing is running the swamp cave. Maybe at the end of this episode or start of the next one. Or even a little bit later, maybe. I'm not 100%. We are going to need to get to level 100 eventually. Going to need to get those heavy turrets. So we'll put that away in the vault for that. Uh, but yeah, basically just kind of farming it out at the minute. Fingers crossed, once we get the metal up, we can get a kit together and start raiding. I'm thinking it might be worth taming an RG as well. Just a low level one. We got a bunch of forges here and it's going to take me forever to fill them by hand. So 
I'm considering it for sure. Um, I think taming an RG is going to be a bit of a mission, so I'm going to make sure I'm properly prepared. The other thing I needed was a spyglass, actually. Um, yeah, we can make that too easy. So for RG level, I'm kind of hoping to get something decent. Obviously, if there's nothing high level around, I'm not going to waste my time. I'll get something. Whatever's there is going to work, really, but I would prefer something decent. I did tame a trike as well, just so we could get the narcotics going. So it's taken ages to pick berries by hand, uh, but we've got a decent amount crafting at the minute. Pretty sure that's everything we're going to need. So I did see some RGs up here earlier. Hopefully they're still around. Oh my god, it's a sheep. What on earth? This is a crazy find. Oh, <laughs> hold on a second. Um, right. We're going to kill this before something else does. And then... Oh, wait, we can imprint on this, can't we? Alright, we're going to hold on to this Ovis. If you drag the body, it kind of drags out the uh, decomposing timer. As you can see, we got an hour and a half there. So we're going to take this back to our raft, chop it up, and then we'll we'll cook the meat up. It's honestly worth doing. It's going to cut down our, our timer by quite a lot. Yeah, we got him here. Nice! Level 125 RG in the trap. Let's knock this guy out. Get him tamed up, and then... Yeah, we can finally go on a metal run. So with RGs, you used to be able to tame them pretty quickly by giving them a dead body to feed. Pretty sure that's been patched, unfortunately, so we're going to have to do it the normal way. I might get some spikes down and place it around the trap. Then we're just going to let the RG starve. Basically, don't want to put the food in right away on official servers because it's going to spoil. And it's going to take forever, so there's no harm in letting its food timer run down. Yeah, so an RG saddle is about 150 chitin slash keratin, so might as well kill these bugs now. While I know where they are, because I swear when you're looking for chitin, you can never find it. Alright, let's check Dota decks and see how long a RG tame is going to take with mutton. I can't believe I'm checking Dota decks again. Never thought I'd see the day. So it says we're going to need 8 raw mutton, and it's going to take 18 minutes. Do I have enough? Yeah, we do. Okay, we got more than enough. It's just going to be getting there in time. We should make it, though. And we might farm up some narcotics while we wait. Not much else for that. Oh, no, actually, I need to get hide, don't I, for the saddle? It's like 350 hide, so that's going to take a few, few minutes, one might say. I mean, once we get the RG, though, the quality of life is just going to be through the roof. Being able to fly long distances with, like, quite a lot of stuff. Underrated tame, in my opinion. Alright, so I think I've gotten everything together we need for the saddle. Yeah, we should have enough. Uh, oh yeah, plenty, plenty. Okay, no worries. Just need to learn it quickly. Never mind, we're missing fiber. It's always something. It's alright, we got some in here. I think it's been over 20 minutes now, so... We're going to try and race this mutton up to the RG before it expires. we got three minutes to get it up there. Alright, we can do this. Go, go, go. It's getting dark as well, so it's going to be a little bit harder to see, but that's alright. We should make it. Yeah, to be fair, I timed that pretty perfect. It's about 20 seconds away from taming. It's going to change my life, honestly. <laughs> so sick of running around on the floor. Alright, there we go. Level 187, it's not bad. Let's check the stats really quick. Um, looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've tamed an RG on official, but that health is looking quite good. To be honest, I'm just going to be leveling weight in it anyway. I'm going to move the raft closer to a metal spawn. We're quite far away here and it's not really helping us out. Not going to take the trike with me though, we're going to leave it here. So I'm just doing a quick berry run before we leave it. It's been quite helpful, to be fair to it. It's done a pretty good job. I just want to make sure I'm getting as many narcotics as possible. Because I know if I don't, I'm going to regret it in the future when I actually need them. A couple of people have um, flown past as well, so we're going to have to think about getting a proper weapon. Oh, is that an Anki? There's an Anki on the beach there. 
I might knock that out. What level is it? I'll have a quick look. Just thinking, like, don't think you usually see him out on the beach. Level 10. Um, yeah, that's worth doing. Let's do that. The Anki has finished taming, so I just need to get a saddle for this guy. Um, but once again, we're short on hide, so... I'm gonna go and kill some things quickly with the RG. Then we can do a fat metal run. And then we can raid. Unfortunately, the Anki and the Argentavis, they both died. I went away to get some food for like 10 minutes, came back to their bodies lying all over my raft, so... I went out and tamed a new RG, took me about an hour and a half. Also crafted up about 23 grenades, so I'm thinking we just spend the rest of the episode raiding. Probably gonna have to replace the Anki in a future episode. Uh, don't really feel like doing it now. So I'm just gonna park the raft, probably behind these rocks here. And then we'll start scouting. So I put down a waypoint a little while ago um, to mark this base for a raid. Kind of wondering if it's still here because we might as well hit it now that we've got some grenades. These new waypoints are actually sick, I won't lie. <laughs> oh, it's right here, yeah. We got a 2x2 two two stone base in front of us. They grow on some plant species X as well, so... Oh, he's online! Oh, jeez. He must have forgot to bring a weapon. <laughs> That's a bit awkward of him. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, well, they don't seem to have a flyer. Jeez, how many are there? There's like three of them. Alright, we got him. Just gonna go in through the wall here. Got him. Um, I really want to get these beds. Fingers crossed, we we got everything. I think. Yeah, beds are gone. Oh my days. Okay. Not bad for a first raid. <laughs> Holy. Holy heck. I don't know what to say. Yeah, this is just insane. Absolutely stacked. Preserving bin has got quite a bit in it as well. These are all pink coated, so we're going to have to destroy them anyway. Oh. Fight him back. He had one last stand. Unfortunate, mate. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know why they didn't have any flyers or teams like that, because it would have been a closer match, but the RG is just kind of super OP. Yeah, these guys were stacked. Where did he... He keeps getting grenades somehow. Is that leech blood as well? Oh my god. We're going to be able to get rid of this ridiculous swamp fever. He's still around somewhere, because Margie keeps getting grenades thrown at him, but no idea where from. And yeah, my base is still okay. Nothing too crazy in there. Bunch of fiber, some more grenades as well. We'll actually take the fiber because it's kind of a pain to get. Okay, there's back on PTs now. Kind of dangerous here because he does have the advantage. There's only one more storage box to check out as well. I'm kind of considering it's just not worth risking it. Got the PT. We're just gonna kill it. How does he still have grenades? Oh, we got someone. Mate, I think it's over. Like, I'm pretty sure I've won the raid. I respect the I respect the grind. Never give up and everything, but... Jeez. Sometimes you've just got to let it go. Oh, gas. I'll take that. Um, right, where's his body? Because he had some... He was throwing grenades everywhere. I'm really happy with that raid. Um, super decent amount of stuff. We're going to take it back to our base. So I think we've been away for a little bit too long. It's probably going to be in pieces by the time we get back, but that's alright. We're going to do some upgrades, and I think it's time to get a fabricator down as well. So much stuff. We're going to need to get turrets ASAP. ASAP Rocky. Alright, fabricators crafting. I think... How are we doing for metal? I think we've got about a thousand metal, which isn't bad at all. Um, the only issue is I've got zero silica, so getting turrets is going to be a mission. Hope you guys enjoyed the Small Tribes content. I'm feeling really good about getting back into it, so... It was great playing day one, raiding and PvPing. I think in the next episode we've definitely got to get the turrets set up. Even if they're just autos, um, I think anything's better than nothing. We're going to try and park the raft out of the way for the night and yeah fingers crossed i'll see you guys in the next episode